With fall flu season upon us, now is the most important time to make sure that you're not getting sick. So what I want to share with you today are the four S's to think about when it comes to keeping your immune system healthy. We've got sleep, stress, shock, and support. So stay tuned as we talk through these four S's. So let's talk about sleep first. It's like the Batman of recovery. It's the hero that we need, but the hero that we don't want. When it comes to getting more sleep and our thoughts around sleep, there are a lot of misconceptions out there around whether we're good sleepers or bad sleepers. And this can make a big difference in how we feel about our sleep and what we do with our routines to either improve our sleep or just give up on trying to improve it. But because sleep is unrivaled in its importance for keeping our immune system healthy, improving our recovery, and managing stress, it is something that we should try to prioritize. And the good news is that most people who think that they aren't very good sleepers are actually doing a better job than they think they are. So I'm not suggesting that you follow some health guru and try to overhaul everything in your schedule in order to improve your sleep. Look at what things you think that you're capable of doing and make small gradual changes there so that you can help improve your overall sleep quality or the amount of sleep that you're getting if you need more sleep. Try it one small change at a time. Notice if it's make any difference and if it hasn't, then try something else out. Or if you do feel a little more rested, see whether you need to work on that a bit more or also just add something else on with your sleep routine to keep on improving. Now let's talk about stress and how to manage it your best. And stress is unique to each and every one of us. We've all got those stressors that affect us more or less. And so it's not about following some set plan when it comes to stress management, but actually understanding what are the things that trigger you to feel more stressed so that you can start to explore and build a better stress management plan for yourself and those particular types of recovery that are going to work best for your unique stressors. In reality, stress management is as much about the give and take in our lives as a jujitsu match. We have to recognize that if we're adding in a stressor somewhere in our life, maybe we can accommodate that by reducing stress in other aspects of our life so that we can help to balance it out and also build up more resilience to tolerate greater stressors as we go. And this is exactly what we do in my stress management success course is look at building your own recovery and resilience plan through understanding stress better and your unique stress fingerprint. So the next cohort of this course is going to be starting up very soon. And if you want to join the wait list, I will include a link below this video where you can join and sign up for that. The third S for a healthy immune system is shock. And we can use deliberate heat exposure or cold exposure in order to shock our system and build more resilience and tolerance to stress. And this is also going to help with boosting our immune system. Sitting in a hot sauna feels really good, but it's not just that you're getting a boost of feel-good hormones from the experience, but it's also improving your immune system and building up your ability to tolerate stress while reducing the stress hormone cortisol. And these are all research-backed benefits to making use of sauna a regular part of your routine. Now, the research on making use of sauna suggests that we should strive towards 57 total minutes per week and ideally above 80 degrees Celsius, but as hot as you can get, if you are reaching a point of heat to where you're sweating really well, then you're likely in this beneficial area. And so that can be a single longer sauna session, but usually people will break it up into two or three sessions throughout a week to get this maximal effect. Now, also you don't have to strive to be that intense about it every single week. 
we can always see benefits even from like a single sauna session on a weekly basis. And the same thing goes for cold exposure. Doing a cold plunge may feel very challenging initially, but it does boost our ability to recover and reduce inflammation, which is an important part of staying healthy and keeping our immune system healthy too. And research suggests the best practice for cold exposure is a total of 11 minutes per week, typically divided into sessions of about three to four minutes at a time. And then ideally you're also getting below 10 degrees Celsius with that cold exposure. And as I mentioned, these numbers of maximal time are things that we can strive towards, but even a single session is going to make a difference and keep our immune system healthier if we can start to incorporate these practices into our routine. Now the fourth S that I wanna talk about is support. And making sure that we have the right support systems in place is really valuable this time of year when we've got cold and flu season upon us, things start to get more stressful and we're also indoors more and just kind of feeling less connected to everything around us. Not only is turning to our friends and family for support when we need it, going to boost our sense of connection and community, which is really important for also helping our immune system. But when we need that extra hand because we feel those sniffles coming on or we're just not feeling our best, having somebody to turn to and that support network can really help to prevent you from getting even sicker or feeling further run down and stressed out. And then we can also consider the support to our diet and nutrition at this time of year to be extra important. So it's not just about the social support, but how can we support and supplement our nutrition? And there's a couple of key nutrients that do become more challenging to get as we start to leave the summer season and it starts to get colder. The first one being vitamin D. Because we're not being exposed directly to sunlight as much, we're not producing the vitamin D that we need to keep our immune system healthy. And this is one of those key nutrients that really makes a difference with our immune system. So supplementing with vitamin D, especially in Canada, is something that pretty much everybody should be doing throughout the winter months. Ideally, around 2,000 IUs per day, which is really affordable. And so it's great to get vitamin D3 in that form. I like to go with a liquid gel cap form of vitamin D. It makes it very easy. And I think that it's more bioavailable than the powdered form. And as fresh vegetables and fruits start to become less local, another great thing to boost your immune system make sure that you're covering all your micronutrient bases is a green supplement. I really like Genuine Health's Greens Plus because research has shown the benefits to it. They actually make sure that they can back their claims and Genuine Health is just a really great company for this. So considering adding in either daily or on whatever days that you don't get as many fresh fruits and vegetable servings as you maybe need to. Taking a green supplement is another important thing to do for a healthy immune system, especially during this time of year. So I know that's a lot of information to take in as far as the different things that we can try to do, but what I want you to do next is make a list of some of the ideas that stood out to you and try one or two of them at a time to see what difference it makes for you and keeping your immune system healthy. Book yourself in for a sauna or cold plunge at Flow Spa for deliberate cold or heat exposure to start to boost your immune system by tolerating these extremes. And finally, I will include the link in the description below if you want to sign up for the next cohort of stress management success, which is starting just around the corner from now. Thank you all for watching and hit the thumbs up if you found it helpful. Until the next video, find your flow.